Okay, in this video, it's now time to uh, see if we can add a bit of style to the uh, web page. Obviously, there's not much color in there, there's no background and stuff like that. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to now just have a quick look and um, check that our style sheet here, can you see that? That is linked to this style sheet here. Okay, so I've got a CSS cascading style sheet. I'm going to alter this. And hopefully that will have an impact on what this looks like. So I'm heading into the style sheet and I'm going to use the body selector. OK, so anything inside the body. OK, I'm now going to set. Um, I'm going to change the color of the text. OK, and the color I want is a hexadecimal value of 003399. Now you can see that that's a nice little sort of dark blue color. Okay, so that's the color, and you can change this to all sorts of different colors. Yeah, and this gives you a red value zero zero, green three three, and blue nine nine. So it's a mixture of green and blue. Um, so red, green, yeah, and blue. That's it. So just a little bit of green inside our blue. Let's see what happens when we run that. Okay, can we see the text is now changed from black to this sort of darkish blue? Okay, touch of green in there as well. Nice effort. Okay, we can also change the font the type of the font which is called font family okay notice here color attribute colon value semicolon next attribute font family colon can dara okay i'm gonna have a look and see if that works now sure you can see text just slight change to kandara nice if i don't have kandara okay i might want to say change to Arial. Okay, so if my browser doesn't support this, I'll have Arial. So that would be my next line. Okay, what about this H2? That's all very nice, isn't it? But actually, maybe I want it a bit bigger, so I can do H2. Now, anything that's H2 now, I can have font hyphen size, and I'm going to make that 16 point. Okay, so my font size of Ernest Shackleton, okay, is now 16 point. Okay, that looks pretty neat. And I'm going to change my H3, that's header 3. I'm going to change that font style, font size to 14 point, colon, 14 point. So we're noticing this syntax. Yeah, every time I do it, I get what I call a selector. You don't need to do this. Yeah, some sort of selector. Then curly brackets, then an attribute colon value that's this that's what we're going to put in there every single time okay let's run that sure enough this looks bigger than that great we've done some good work let's just copy that now okay and what we're going to do is going to go return to learn informatics go down to style sheet click for test and i'm going to put that code in here and just test whether it works or not okay and just before that um, I didn't read the instructions carefully enough. Um, I want font size colon 12 point as well, semicolon. Okay, so let's just move that across there, make sure we can see what this looks like. Okay, I've got font size 12 points, let's just run that. Okay, so neatly I've got 12 point for my main text, 14 point here, and 16 point there. Right, now that should. Now let's copy that. Head into informatics, paste that in, that's the new one with the font size, and submit the code. Great, all done. Okay, so our Shackleton is beginning to look a little bit better now that we've put some style in there. Okay, so let's move on and see if we can improve the layout. 